So today guys, I'm going to show you a somewhat hidden feature in Figma, which is how to copy gradients. And uh, it is actually like all of these fills, you can d copy them in small simple steps. So like in this one, if you hit Control C and Control V, if you open it, it will like do nothing. It's actually just paste like that. And I'm going to hit actually again here without clicking anything to fill and just hit Control C and Control V. It will paste like that, right? But in the linear regions, that doesn't work, okay? So for this fills, if you hit Control C then Control V, it will not work again. So it just works on an image, right? Again, in this one, if you hit Control C without clicking anything and Control V, doesn't even work again. And last part is if you hit Control C here and then Control V here, doesn't work again, right? So out of our one, two, three, four, five scenarios of fill scenarios, the only thing that we can directly copy is the image, like that. So how do we like fix this? So we have this one. What we will do first is when you click on it. We will just click on one of these things. Okay? You'll have to click on it like that. And then hit Control C and then click on this one and hit Control V. As you can see, we have copied an instance of the fill to so this guy. So it's a new instance of the fill. We have, we have the last fill here in the below. You can just like delete it if you want to. And the next one is just Control C, then Control V there. If you hit Control C here and Control V, it won't copy, right? So you have to open it first. Control C and then Control V. There. There is there is the new instance. We'll delete that. So in this one, we have to open it, and then we'll just have to tap on somewhere here. And then we'll hit or anywhere in here actually, <laughs> just stop anywhere in here and then hit Control c you click there and then Control v so what we did there again click it, tap anywhere here here or here uh, essentially anywhere, okay and then click Control v and then we have copied it, a new instance there and then the next one click on it we can tap anywhere here here or this thing let's try this one so we're not actually selecting anything we're just tapping this square and hit control C and then control V and we have copied it a new instance of it and then the last one we hit and open it tap anywhere here 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 or here or here or here whatever it's going to control c there and then control v and we have created a new instance so what is the rule there so to copy gradients you just open this after opening this you need to do something in this box and then hit control c and then you will have copied the instance of this box and then you can transfer it to other shapes. Again, just click here and we're gonna do anything here like that. And hit control C again and we have pasted it. And on the next one, we click and open it and hit anything here, control C, then control V again. And the next, click here. We again hit anything on this box, even if we're not selecting anything. We're just hitting it. So we hit Control C and then Control V. And we have a new instance there, as you can see. New instance again. So open it. And I think we're gonna like change the color. Let's change the color a bit. And then we hit Control C and then Control V on this one. And lastly, We'll do it again on this gradient. We'll here. We did something here, 
So we can go control C, hit X here or X, or escape, and then control V. There we go. So that is a quick tip for Figma for today. It is actually a hidden feature, okay? It's a hidden feature for Figma. I can't see any documentation about this, but that is essentially the trick is just open it and anything you do here on this box. And then if you hit control C, if you hit control C there, and then hit another, and the instance, this instance will be copied, this, and then hit control V there, there's the instance. So I hope you have enjoyed this quick tip for Figma and how to copy linear or all the fill options in Figma. Be sure to like if you have learned something today and subscribe for either Figma quick tips videos. So have a great day, stay safe, and have a good one.